they can actually approve to then go ahead and they take your blog's comment and they put it on their blog. Software can be set up so they can actually automatically allow it to show up on their blog. But if for no other reason you're linking out to an authority site that Google likes, which is important, and you're trying to get their attention. So let's say you're in the market and you want to do business with that person. Well, if they see that you've been sending, you know, you've been linking to them and mentioning their blog and your blog, how much easier it is for you is it for you to approach them and say, hey, I'd like to put some content on your site, I'd like to buy some links, I'd like to do some business together. All right? They say, oh yeah, I remember you. I've seen you've been posting things on your blog about me. I appreciate it. And in fact, their, their software would be configured that says, whenever somebody tracks me back like that, automatically link back to them. But I think most people have turned that off. But there's actually, in the video, I should talk about how, I, how to do that. I don't think it's step by step. I think it was philosophy. So you know, if you guys need it step by step, I guess we could do it. But it is it's basic stuff. So you're welcome. I think in the DVDs I gave you today that's at the back of the room, I think I talked about something about that too, about how we've approached people. Um, yes, Mike? To age a domain, do you definitely have to put up, put up a parking page? Because I have all these domains that are four or five years old I've done nothing with. Yeah, I, I recommend definitely. Some, if you look, though, I look at my parking pages because I'm a GoDaddy reseller, meaning I sell registrar services and stuff. They actually give me a percentage of income derived from domains that are parked through my system. And technically speaking, search engines find them. I never really tested whether it's any good. I've always taught put your own page up. So my recommendation, what I do, I put my own page up. I wouldn't just park it there if you plan on using it. We've got hundreds that are just parked, but I collect domains for it. I don't know why. I, just, I sit at seminars and, hey, that sounds like a good domain, pop up a bam. And then I never tell my client, I staff to go ahead and build a site. But a lot of times, do I directly go, Mario is the web properties guy, and he, he, he's got a big spreadsheet list of all different web properties and all that other stuff. And I'll forward it to him, or if I forget to forward it to him, it gets deleted on my Outbox, and he doesn't know it's there. So, I don't know from a search engine ranking standpoint if they'll consider a parked page at GoDaddy and Age Domain. I don't see why not, because they send traffic that way. But I'd still say if, I, if, if it's a site that I care about, I get a page up right away. And even if I'm not going to build it for another year, at least I can go back. So if, TKP, you can, you can publish one static page at a push of a button on a thousand different sites. You register a domain, have your people top it, drop, just drop it into TKP. I taught that at the seminar. Drop it into TKP, push the button. No, no. Yeah, because static you can just publish. I'm just talking about a holder page, right? That's all I want. WordPress means somebody has to go over and, and initiate the database for the blog. So static to me would be the easier solution. And that's what we've done with statics. So. If you're going to use the site, yeah. I put up a blog. For example, if you're going to use it, you can put up a blog. <laughs> oh, okay. You can create an RS, uh, do you mean a, sta a static site that produces an RS, RSS feed is what you mean? The question was, can you put up a static blog? Technically, that's not a blog, but you can create RSS feeds for static sites. So if you have static sites, you should at least pay someone to produce RSS feeds based on your static site. This site... <clears throat> All right, well, as long as we're here, softwaredevelopmentexperts.com. I've got a team of programmers, the best team I ever worked with, the most expensive team I ever worked with. They have entire staff, big teams. We had them run our Facebook application development. Anthony is our project manager in-house, but we actually have a project manager with them. So Anthony interfaces with him, gives the requirement documents to him, does the online chats with him. We have tracking tools that we follow the process along with. They've got a testing. We have a tester, part-time tester, and a full-time programmer with them. They do excellent work. I told them, well, this is, 
don't put your stuff in here yet. There's no email that's going to come out to you. Or if there is, I'll mail you something. But <clears throat> if you subscribe to this list, I will send you who they are. I don't want it to be, I don't want to create too much competition for myself. So I suggest that you subscribe. And if too many people, and it's not a pitch, I mean, they don't even have an affiliate program to speak of. But if you have a good set of workers, do you want to tell everybody in the world to go to them because they only have so many man hours to do stuff? So I'll, tell, I'll share it with you guys, no problem. But uh, they do really good work. They're 30, we pay $3,200 a month for the full-time team, including a part-time tester and a full-time project manager, or a part-time project manager on site. And then Anthony interfaces with them from our site. So they're not cheap. But if you think that that's something that you want, you have to sign a contract. I've got a contract, a six-month contract. I think I sign with them. Every six months gets renewed. But I have used people and had good luck by finding programmers, I've talked about it a thousand times, but more often than not, most of the software I get is junk and it can't be used, and I paid $5,000 or whatever for it, it just sits there and does nothing. So, in fact, I was thinking about, we might want to hire them, Dory, for TKP, because they do really good PHP work. So, but I use it for another company of mine. <clears throat> but anyways, what I did is, uh, I knew that I was eventually gonna want to do something with this site, and I knew I promised you guys I'd share my software developers' names with you, so this is where you would go. But I told Mario to put up a holder page because I actually think I want to do something not this specifically, but I thought for AdSense and stuff. I, want, I haven't done any research on it, but I said, hey, if we're going to have to put a site up, go ahead and put a WordPress blog up for me. So we did age this with a WordPress blog to answer your question. And I just told Mario, put up a holder page. It's put in a, he actually put in an entire blog in there for us. And it's got RSS feeds feeding it content. We never have to touch it. <clears throat> yep. Yeah, so to age it. I'm just telling you because if you're deploying 100, 200 sites via TKP and you don't have someone doing all the database work or you're not doing it on the same share on the same table, I would just put up a static for that purpose. But if you think, if you've got someone that's going to do it or if you think you're going to eventually use the site, this is the type of holder page you've put. And I, I didn't even know I was going to show you guys this. I just wanted to do it because I thought we might do something. And Mario threw the site up. And he's got RSS feeds related to the content material. Getting started with Google's Linux, Java Phone SDK. It's about software development. I just thought, eh, it sounds like something I could do something with eventually. So I hadn't put up a holder page. He actually put up a whole site based on RSS feed content. So any questions about holding pages like that? What's nice about using a blog for a holding page is every time it gets posted to, what's happening? It's creating RSS pings to, to let it know it's out there. So it's actually sending out signals, and we never touch it. I, my